So there have been a few of you who have asked um, how much does a teardrop weigh, and to be honest, I didn't know. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh it, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So what I'm using here is I'm using um, a uh, bathroom scale like this, just a uh, regular spring dial type bathroom scale, some 2 by 4 some little pieces of wood, and a scissor jack. Let me see the scissor jack under there. So. Um, so what we've got to do is we've got to know what the length of this whole um, lever is. We need to know the length from uh, where the axle under there is to the front. And then uh, we need to know, of course, what this measurement comes out to be once we put load uh, using that scissor jack. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and climb under the uh, teardrop and show you how I've got it set up. Okay, so here's the setup, and you can see I've got my scissor jack right under the axle, and I have a line right here. And you see there's a line on the back of the 2x4 that says fulcrum. So that's 12 inches between here and here. And you see I've got a little piece of triangular piece of wood um, under my fulcrum, uh, just so I get a you know good bearing surface. So this is 12 inches here. And then from this line to the same kind of triangular piece of wood, um, right there um, is 47 inches so <clears throat> I have a total of 59 inches 47 plus 12 and I know this is 12 so um, so what I will do is I will go ahead and put a wrench on here and I will crank this up and then we'll get a reading off of the uh, scale before I put any weight on this I need to zero the scale out so I'll just use a little dial here so I've zeroed the scale out for my lever and for my uh, jack that's sitting up uh, on top of the lever. So now I'll just crank it up. Because I'm starting this jack pretty low, um, it takes a lot of effort to crank it. basically just turned it just enough so I can turn the wheel. So, okay, so uh, let's look at what our scale reads. So there we are. So that is reading 116. 116. Alright, so that's what this is on this side and I will do the other side as well, do it just exactly the same as this, and then I will also do the tongue, and I'll show you that part. Okay, so for the, uh, the tongue I'm doing exactly the same thing, except I'm not using the lever. So I've got my scale, got some blocks just to support this, using my jack, and using a, uh, a block of wood that's directly underneath where the ball is on the hitch. So I'm going to zero out my scale. Alright. And then what I will do is I will just crank this up until uh, the tongue wheel comes off just a little bit and uh, take a reading. Okay, so I'm showing a tongue weight of 176 pounds. 176 pounds. All right. Okay, now that we've uh, got uh, all of our measurements done, um, let's uh, figure out how much the trailer weighs. So, uh, I'm going to draw up just exactly what we did out there. So, here is, this is the fulcrum. Here's the lever that we made. Here is the little bathroom scale, little bearing on the bathroom scale. Here is kind of a picture of the teardrop all right it's down on the scale or on the lever here so what this is is this is called a uh, class 2 lever uh, for those of you that are trying to remember this from your uh, physics days in uh, high school so this is a class 2 lever and there are a couple of measurements that we know so we know what we read off of the bathroom scale so we're going to call that F 
We know the distance between the fulcrum and the bathroom scale. We're going to call that L. We know the distance between the fulcrum and the teardrop uh, axle. We're going to call that X. All right. And what we're wanting to find out is we're wanting to find out how much the teardrop weighs. And we're going to call that W. So this is what the, um, the formula looks like. So W, which is what we're trying to solve for, equals F times L divided by X. So F is the number that we read times L. And remember, we know what that number is. So L is 59, okay? And X was 12, okay? So it's W equals F, the, me the measurement off of here, times L, this total length, divided by X, which is the distance between the fulcrum and the load. And that's what it equals W. So if you'll remember, we took three different uh, measurements uh, for this. We took a measurement on the left-hand side of the teardrop, on the right-hand side of the teardrop, and on the tongue. So we're going to call those F, L, F left, F right, okay, and F T. Okay, so now all we have to do is we just need to uh, plug uh, those numbers into this equation. So, in the first case, we will take uh, FL, so that is 116 times 59 divided by 12 equals 570.3. So for the right-hand side, we will do 111, because we know what that number is, times 59 divided by 12 equals 545.75. All right, now I'm not a math whiz here. I'd figured these out in advance. So, <laughs> uh, And then the last number is FT, and FT, we know what that is, is um, that didn't use any of this lever or anything like that. So that's just a direct measurement, and that was 176 pounds. All right. So what we'll do is we'll total all of these together, and we come up with 1,292.08. And this is 1,292 pounds, 0.08 pounds. Now, I don't know what 0.08 is, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to call the uh, teardrop weighing in at 1,292 pounds. And now the teardrop was about halfway loaded with camping gear. So uh, uh, we'll just uh, figure on that particular number. Now there's one other uh, number that you kind of need to know. And uh, that's uh, how your tongue weight relates to this total amount. Now the tongue should be somewhere between 9 and 15 percent of this number. And I did the calculation uh, beforehand and I come out to about 14 percent for the tongue weight. All right, so that's tongue. And this is teardrop. All right, so that comes in about right. Uh, so the tongue is about right. And uh, this is a little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be, but I did build it pretty solid. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to my uh, friend Steve, uh, who reminded me that uh, I didn't need to take this down to a truck scale in order to get it weighed, that we, if we could just put together some bits in pieces here, we could uh, do some uh, uh, basic uh, physics and an engineering calculation and figure out what that weight is.